Put everything down. Let me prophesy over you. We'll see if we can land this plane. I think this is what the Father really wants us to know. There is a joy in intimate alignment that removes all the weariness of life. There's a place set aside for you where all struggle ceases and you enter into the fullness of rest and peace. And the Lord says, as you worship me, as you wait on me in delight, you will be wonderfully renewed. It is in intimate strength that I have arranged for you to view life from a higher realm. And as my spirit gives your spirit wings, so you will be raised up in your intimacy to be close to me. And you may come before the throne of grace and receive everything you need. You are my people, my beloved. And it is my absolute intention to raise you up out of circumstances, out of a culture you've no longer got any business being in, because I have redeemed you from that. And it is not your place to walk in those things. It is your place to walk in the high places with me. It is your place to sit with me far above, far above, far, far above, and enjoy the view. I will supply you with a confidence so large it shall become a new boldness of spirit. And you will have power to stand, to run, to walk without tiring. You will see miracles in your physical body, miracles in your physiology, that as you come into a place of intimacy, intimacy will act on you physically, and you will become stronger, more fit, more powerful, and you will live longer, and you will not be debilitated in any way. You will have a new energy, a fresh power, will pick you up physically and will strengthen you powerfully. In your intimacy, receive a fresh anointing to learn the power of rest and peace. Your soul is always untroubled when it lives in the shadow of your spirit in Christ. I love rest, says the Lord, and I love you. And I will let you know my peace, which will always guard your heart and your mind. Everything I do is easy for me. I have no heavy burdens. My joy is so powerful, it lifts everything around me. This is what I have invited you into. This is your place, right here with me. I've given you a helper. Listen to him. Allow no other voice to overshadow His, and we, we will commune with you. You're in Christ now. You are not your own. You have a different body. You're in Christ. That was our plan from the beginning. 
to have you become one with us so that you would become like us and we would live in you. Beloved, it's still the plan. It's time to extricate yourself from the affairs of this world and become a citizen of heaven and become involved in that dimension of life that we bring to you freely and joyfully. We're making you like us. And we love what we're doing. We love what we are doing in you and with you. We love partnering with you. We love talking to you. We love listening to you. We love being with you. We love helping you. We love anointing you. We love lifting you. We love encouraging you. Work with us. Stop working with the enemy. Work with us. We have better benefits. <laughs> we have better benefits. We have no sickness package, though. You're in the kingdom now. You're in the domain of the king. Let's learn how to abide there and learn how to take advantage of everything that your God wants to give you. This is your day. This is your time. You've still got time to rise up and be absolutely, thoroughly brilliant. Let's do it. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your joyful intentionality. No one loves us like you love us. No one understands us like you understand us. No one is so geared to making us triumphant than you. No one is so enthusiastically ready and willing and able to lift us into a better lifestyle than you. We love you, Lord. And we bask in your love all the time. It's amazing to us that you love us so well, that you see us so perfectly. But our response, Lord, is just to say, we're coming. We're coming. Make sure you've got enough food in because we're coming. In Jesus' name, amen. 